do this all in my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the right. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bomb and on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest and send a burner across your face. Remind the slot. Please don't test them. I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush you, move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys one of the most annoying new offenses that I've been seeing online and probably the hardest offense that I've faced all year. But before I do, if you guys want to see more college videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button. Let me know in the comment section. If you need more help or more money plays, you can download my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. Now, I started this game out on defense, but the second that I see my opponent runs goal line on the very first play, Ugh. brother, ugh. What's that? I know I'm in for a long day because this was something that was a well-known offensive formation that you could use in previous Maddens. And it turns out that you can use it pretty consistently in college football as well. On the first play, I used it nice, but you can see there was nothing behind me if I didn't make that tackle. And since we had success stopping that play, you can see on the next play has to pass. And we see exactly why this guy has to resort to such a cheesy offense. You are trash! As he almost throws an interception on the very next play. So when he comes out in the same goal line offense on third and long, I come out in the 3-4 odd and run commit from the pinch bug zero, meaning that if he actually does pass, I won't have any penalty for it. And even though I ran commit, and it looks like he's just running a simple power O play, once again, there is nothing behind me. And since I don't make the play this time, he's gone. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Now, if there's people out there that think I run my offense cheesy, I actually make reads on my offense. Like on this next play here, I run an RPO, which means I'm watching this defender in front of my bubble screen. And we would have had a big play, but he just gets off the tackle. Then on the next play, we're making a space read. Since I see nobody on this outside edge here to contain, I switch over to the jet sweep and we get a first down. And those reads come up big on the next play when I planned on hitting this corner route. But when I see him press to what looks like cover two man and drop the safety down, I know that there's probably a chance that I can get over the top. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> As he doesn't get back in time, and we just bomb up over the top. On the next series, when I see him come out in goal line again, I try to bulk up to one of the largest packages I have on defense in the 4-4 split. I pinch defensive line this time and call a run commit, and you can see nothing changes as he's off to the races again on the very next play. So maybe calling man zero blitz is not the best idea. God damn it! So now I'm in a game where I basically have to play perfectly every single time I have the ball because my opponent's scoring on the very first play. And since we're forced to use team-specific playbooks, I don't even have my favorite playbook out of the Georgia offense. As I have plenty of one-play touchdowns where I can do the exact same thing, but instead I'm using an offense that I haven't even labbed in Texas State, which is a pretty good playbook in its own right as I'm just using a lot of concepts like jet sweeps and RPO plays and quarterback runs. But my favorite style of offense in this entire playbook is probably the gun tight open as we switch over to play called the dig z spot i streak the b receiver to pull back any zones in the area and the reads are really easy if it's a man coverage i'm gonna go left side and if it's a zone coverage i'm gonna go right side and the second that i see it's man coverage i go straight to the zig route as we get wide open outside and take it for another score but now we gotta deal with the hard part of trying to figure out how to stop this offense as I switch over to a cover four in the very next play. If you guys don't know, as long as you don't get pass and cover four, these safeties will play the run. And this should give me a little bit better of an opportunity to stop this play. But he still runs for a first down on the first carry and was kind of close to breaking it to the outside. So I switch back to cover zero so we can run commit. And on the next play, the cornerback does get inside to stop him for no gain. But he runs a hurry up and does it again. Only this time he flips it away from the blitzing cornerback. And he's off to the races for his third touchdown of the half as I just don't seem to have enough of speed on the field to keep up with this running back. And since I can't stop him on defense, I'm hoping to stop him the only way I know how, and that's giving the ball back with no time, as we slowly drive our way down the field before we make probably one of the most critical mistakes in this game by throwing an interception in the end zone. Fuck! 
So since he's coming out in goal line offense, I'm coming out in goal line defense. And on the next play, it works out very well. Surprise, motherfucker. Enough to try to make him pass on the very next play. You know how long I've been waiting for this? Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself here. As we push him back to a third and 22, and he goes back to running the ball from the goal line once again, and he almost scores on the very next play, but luckily we get the tackle before he gets in the field goal range. And since he only has 10 seconds left, he's going to make the biggest mistake of the game that he's made so far by actually trying to run an actual offense. As he has to try to throw it up against me. You suck! But he still hasn't completed a single pass in this game. And since there's only three seconds left, I don't care what offense he comes out in, I'm going to come out in a prevent defense as we get a stop for a loss on the very next play. And I might have accidentally found a good defense for this offense in the second half. I get ball in the second half and I decide to try the goal line offense for myself. And on the very first play, it works pretty similarly as all I really had to do was get around one guy and I would have been gone the same way. But I'm not going to stoop to this man's level. So I go back to making proper reads and running a proper offense as we spread the field on the next play before hitting him with a run play to get to midfield. I make a tight window throw in the next play, but I come back to the ball with my tight end, a Mossum, before I notice he comes out with a smaller defense. So I hit him with an inside zone and keep him in this defense by calling a hurry up to get all the way down inside the five before we punch it in on the ground for a very easy touchdown. Back on defense, we're going to try that prevent one more time, only this time we're going to press the entire defense between wire triangle down the left stick, and then pinching the defensive line to close up those inside lanes by hitting D-pad to left and down. And you can see that we have a really good front seven here, as there's really not any inside gaps or outside leverage. And since these safeties are so far back to start the play, they are too far back to get targeted by the linemen for blocks. So I run commit the same way, and they come down to the box to make the stop. He comes down a regular offense on the next play, so I call a regular defense, and sure enough, he runs the ball to the outside and Anyway, before going right back to the goal line, and every time he calls this, I'm going to call this prevent defense as we're having a lot more success stopping him. On the next play, he barely gets the first, and I guess I had enough success because I forced him out of that offense entirely as he tries to go to a regular three wide receiver set before bombing it up and completing his first pass of the game to me. You wow. are fucking wow. suck! And now with only two minutes left with a tied ball game, the goal is clear. Dink and dunk my way down the field, kill all the time on the clock, and either score and give him the ball back with no time, or kick a field goal as the game expires. As you make all the right reads, you get down to an easy field goal range, but you know I want to stick it to this guy by scoring against him with his very own play. So we start using the goal line too, because if I'm going to score, it's going to be with this play. Hey! Before switching back to his cheesy goal line offense, and there was nobody over the top of that, as that would have probably been gone from anywhere. Fuck you! The payback's a motherfucker, ain't it? And I give him the ball back with only 15 seconds left, and this loser who didn't complete a pass the entire game is gonna go out on his shield, running that stupid goal line offense every single play. And I'm cool with it because I'm just defending the end zone. As it appears we finally figured out that goal line offense to end the game. As my opponent still ran for 363 yards and three touchdowns running this play pretty much the entire game, so it's still really broken. If you guys want to see more gameplay videos, like more defenses, I'll have that pop up on my screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.